design and global defense capabilities, then you're going to want to stick around for this one. The MiG-41, also known as the PAC-DP Respective Aviation Complex for Long Range Interception, is intended to be the successor of the legendary MiG-31 Foxhound. For decades, the MiG-31 has served as one of the fastest and most powerful interceptor aircraft in service anywhere in the world. But technology goes to the standstill and neither does the battlefield. The MiG-41 is being designed to dominate the skies in the 21st century, particularly in scenarios involving hypersonic missiles and stealth aircraft. Let us start with the basics. While official specifications are still closely guarded, Russian defense officials and MiG Corporation executives have hinted at some astonishing capabilities. The MiG-41 is expected to reach speeds of Mach 4.3 more than four times the speed of sound. Some reports even speculate it might push closer to Mach 5, putting it in the realm of hypersonic flight. To put that in perspective, that s over 6100 kilometers per hour fast enough to cross the atlantic ocean in under an hour that kind of speed means it could intercept enemy bombers or missiles before they even reach russian airspace and this is a key part of russia's aerial defense doctrine interception before impact speed in this context is not just about agility or reaction time it's about survival the MiG-41 is also rumored to feature stealth technology, something the MiG-31 lacks. With stealth shaping, radar-absorbing materials, and next-gen sensor jamming, it could operate undetected until the moment of interception. Combine them with high-speed capabilities and you have an aircraft that is almost impossible to counter using conventional systems. Another fascinating aspect of the MiG-41 is its potential weapon loadout. Sources suggest it will be equipped with advanced air-to-air -air missiles, possibly even ones capable of hitting hypersonic targets. There is also speculation that it might carry anti-satellite weapons, yes, you heard that right making it capable of striking targets in low Earth orbit. That alone would redefine what we expect from an interceptor. Let us talk about range and altitude. The MiG-41 will reportedly be capable of operating at extremely high altitudes, potentially even near space. Some experts believe it could reach 100 kilometers above Earth, which would technically make it a suborbital aircraft. Such altitude capabilities would not only allow it to detect threats earlier but also give it the best possible positioning for interception missions. In terms of range, it's set to outperform the MiG-31, which already had a range of nearly 3,000 kilometers. This means the MiG-41 could patrol vast distances without refueling, ideal for defending Russia's enormous airspace and border regions. Another game-changing feature could be its ability to launch unmanned drones or even operate in a semi-autonomous mode itself. Some analysts think the MiG-41 might act as a command center in the sky, coordinating data with satellites, ground stations, and other aircraft in real time. With the increasing role of artificial intelligence in military aviation, this seems highly plausible. Now, you might be wondering when will we actually see the MiG-41 in action reports suggest that the aircraft is currently in the design and development phase. Some say a prototype could be ready as early as 2025, with production potentially starting in the late 2020s or early 2030s. However, timelines like these often shift, especially for projects of such scale and secrecy. Why is the MiG-41 so important because it represents the next stage in air superiority? With rising tensions between major global powers, the need for faster, smarter, and more capable aircraft is growing. The MiG-41 isn't just about defending airspace it's about deterring threats that haven't even fully materialized yet. Hypersonic missiles, stealth bombers, drone swarms this is the kind of future it's being built for. Let us not forget the competition. 
the United States is also working on its own next generation fighters, including the NGAD Next Generation Air Dominance Project. China, too, is developing advanced platforms. The MiG-41, therefore, is Russia's answer to this race for aerial dominance. And in this game, whoever controls the skies often controls the battlefield. Visually, while no official images exist, concept art suggests a sleep, needle nose design optimized for high-speed flight. The airframe likely uses composite materials to reduce weight and enhance structural integrity under extreme conditions. Its intakes, wings, and fuselage would all be tailored to minimize radar signature while maximizing aerodynamic efficiency. So, what will it be like to pilot the MiG-41 based on past trends? The cockpit will be outfitted with a fully digital avionics suite, perhaps incorporating augmented reality HUDs, voice control, and next-gen threat analysis systems. Pilots would likely be outfitted with special G-suits to withstand the tremendous acceleration and altitude changes involved. In conclusion, the MiG-41 is not just a fighter jet it's a symbol of where military aviation is heading. Hypersonic speed, high altitude capability, stealth features, and possibly even space warfare potential all combined to create one of the most ambitious aircraft ever conceived. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the MiG-41 and want more videos about cutting-edge military technology, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Let us know in the comments do you think the MiG-41 will be the dominant aircraft of the future, or will it be outpaced by global competition?